here in i button and description box below you will get complete playlist of laplace transform uh, and <clears throat> here we are going to solve a problem which is from the topic inverse laplace transform basically uh, i would uh, like to show you something that is from video number 19 okay from video number 19 to video number yes that is 30 we are solving various problems on the topic inverse laplace transform all these questions are very 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 important i would i would suggest you i would request you to solve each and every problem okay and that too in this sequence only in this sequence only so that you will get very good uh, command over this topic okay and over this all these questions out of all these questions this question number 27 is most important problem okay other questions are also very important but this is the most important problem okay so let us start with the problem welcome to video number 25 and in this video we are going to solve seventh problem on the topic that is inverse laplace transform okay one of the very good questions so i request you to watch this video till end okay so let us start the question is evaluate inverse laplace transform of s plus 2 upon s a square minus 4 s plus 13 okay here we need to make the denominator part as a minus b whole square okay so we can divide this 13 into yes two parts that is 4 plus 9 okay we can divide this uh, 13 into two parts that is 4 and 9 okay 4 plus 9 that is 13 why 4 plus 9 because if okay s a square minus 4 s plus 4 okay this is going to make what s minus 2 whole square okay then plus 9 okay so that 4 plus 9 will become 13 fine okay let us start let inverse laplace transform of f bar of s okay equals to inverse laplace transform of s plus 2 upon s a square minus 4 s okay plus 4 okay yes since we have written here 4 so we are left with only 9 okay so right here plus 9 okay we are putting a bracket over here because this is going to be s minus 2 whole square so this is going to be equals to inverse laplace transform of s plus 2 upon s minus 2 whole square plus 3 square fine yes so since we have s minus 2 here it means we need to make uh, here also in the numerator part that is s minus 2 so that we can uh, apply or we can use shifting property okay to use shifting property we need to make numerator part as s minus 2 so we are going to add and subtract this 2 okay with in the, in the numerator part so we have uh, inverse laplace transform of s minus 2 plus 2 okay s minus 2 plus 2 then this plus 2 is because of this plus 2 fine yes yeah upon this whole part that is s minus 2 whole square plus 3 square fine okay now we will put a bracket for this that is s minus 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 4 okay upon s minus 2 whole square plus 3 square will be as it is okay there will be no change in the denominator part fine okay now we are going to separate this okay first will be s minus 2 upon this part okay that is s minus 2 whole square plus 3 square and the second will be 4 upon this part that is s minus 2 whole square plus 3 square okay yes so we are separating this that is inverse laplace transform of s minus 2 upon s minus 2 whole square plus 3 square okay plus 4 okay since this is a constant value so we are taking this out of this okay that is 4 into inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s minus 2 whole square plus 3 square okay now we are going to apply that is shifting property okay let us see yeah properties of inverse laplace transform that is if inverse laplace transform of f bar of s equals to f of t then according to shifting property we have inverse laplace transform of f bar of s minus a equals to e to power a t into f of t okay remember here f bar of s minus a okay here we have minus sign with a okay and a is what a is the coefficient of this t in the exponential part fine yes here you see if you see we have a equals to how much 2 here also the value of a is how much 2 so using shifting property we have here yeah, inverse laplace transform of f bar of s and that is equals to on solving this part we will have e to the power 2t because the value of a is how much 2 
okay then we are left with inverse laplace transform of here we have s upon s square plus 3 square fine here also 4 into e to power 2 t because of this 2 okay we here we also have used this shifting property so 4 into e to power 2 t then we are left with inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus 3 square fine okay now we are going to see what is the formula for inverse laplace transform of s upon s square plus 3 square okay that is yes come to this formula that is formula number 4 that is inverse laplace transform of s upon s square plus a square is how much cos a t and the value of a is how much that is 3 okay values or value of a is how much 3 so inverse laplace transform of s upon s square plus 3 square can be written as cos 3 t okay so okay plus 4 into e to the power 2 t will be as it is now we need to see what is the formula for inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus 3 square okay come to formula number 5 that is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus a square equals to 1 upon a times sin a t okay and the value of a is how much again 3 so this will be 1 upon 3 times sin 3 t okay now taking e to the power 2 t common okay here you can see e to the power 2 t and e to the power 2 t is present in both the terms so we are taking e to the power 2 t common so we are left with cos 3 t plus 4 upon 3 plus 4 upon 3 into sin 3 t and this is my final answer okay thank you so much for watching this video